This is hard trying to do it on two phones. I'm watching from both. I have I have two phones. I have my 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 um the Korean phone and my my American phone on at the same time. And I always need this because all my notes are on this. Because I don't want to. I do have my my notebook that I write everything out on my new notebook. But um today I want to I want to look um like I'm using my computer more than my actual notebook and 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 pencil case <laughs> reading the comments. I'll let I'll let people slowly join in and write questions and comments so that um yeah we can I can start talking about what you wanna know about.
<laughs> I'm like trying to keep up with both. Facebook on this side and hi everybody on Instagram on this side and hello to everybody who's tuning in or might watch this after it's been streamed because of time zones. Thanks for understanding. <laughs> um, hello. Hi everybody. Happy over my skin release day. It's finally out. Um, I hope in all the countries and platforms. I think I think they're being released on like their like specific time zones. So surprise, <laughs> and it, it it's kind of making everybody like more engaged. I mean, I didn't plan it, but I think it's all. I mean, thank you God for um having everything go amazingly. Um, hello, it's uh, nice to be able to. Say hello with music out for everybody. Uh, today is June 28th here in California on Pacific Standard Time. So happy release day and still happy birthday to Sion on Cali time. Um, yeah, my new song Over My Skin is finally out. And I'm so excited that there's so much love and so much support and the the feedback I've been getting is amazing and it hasn't even been 24 hours. Um, I'm excited to talk about how that was put together and um, just have some face time <laughs> with everybody. Um, yeah, so over my skin. I should just go straight into the song, right? Should we just talk? What should we talk about first? I should, I should let you guys lead the way. I mean, I always have like things written out about what I want to talk about and share, but I do love the, the, the space of like letting anything happen on its own. <laughs> I'm like, which comments should I read? I'm, I'm, I mean, read out loud. I'm reading both, but super cool. Ooh, there's like filters on this too. Cool. <gasps> no, there's, these are scary. There's like, no, no filters, no filters. Um. Okay. <laughs> Okay, it says, thank you for giving, somebody said, thank you for giving us a good song, you're welcome. And it says, can you explain the process of Over My Skin? Yes, I wanted to talk to you about it. Making Over My Skin was done, I mean, I made it pretty recently with um, some amazing friends. Um, special thanks to Quizzy and Kevnish of Barry's Movement and Rachel West for collaborating with me and making such a fun song. Um, this song came together after I went to a Justin Timberlake concert recently. And I remember how much I loved that early 2000s pop um, style. And I was like, okay, I wanna mix everything that I love about K-pop and everything I love about, you know, pop the pop music that I grew up to and create this cool, minimal, fun summer song. And that's how it was um, put together. Um, what do you think? Do you hear a lot of, I mean, I, I'm glad everybody's kind of catching on to that early 2000s pop plus 
like Girls' Generation TTS vibes, which I'm very, very proud of. <laughs> um, I also wanted to share and the, the uh, talk about how the the album cover art was made and and just the whole um, teasing of this song. Um, this special thanks to one of the most fabulous stylists, Chloe um, Jun Chitangnim. Um, as you all know, um, she has. Uh, been on board with me for the I Just Want to Dance project and my solo and solo projects and lots of other um, cool fashion projects. But um, she put together such an amazing hair, makeup, and photographer and glam. I don't know everything and helped me, um, you know, create this uh, cover to my new project. And it's nice because I wanted to stay. I wanted it to be the same but different, which is always a challenge, but probably the hardest thing to ask for. But thank you, thank you, Chun Shi Chang Nim. Thank you for this amazing piece. Chun Shi Chang Nim, Enok Shi Chang Nim, Kayong Shi Chang Nim, Hee Jun Shi Chang Nim, Sonia Shi Chang Nim. Thank you so much. They have been frequent collaborators, especially from my older previous um, album covers or or magazine shoots. So thank you. 감사합니다. 보고 싶어요. And I, I, I'm glad you guys love it as well. And the cover has this cool, like, um, <laughs> people, are, people are like, she's in plastic wrap. Yes, I'm in plastic wrap. But it, it, I like that um, we, we got together with some amazing um, people who, uh, who directed this for that side. Um, and it really fit um, the title over my skin, and I like that it, we cut out the eyes because it's like a new view on Tiffany or music or however you want to interpret it. And I'm super glad you guys love the photos. Um, what else has been going on? I have had um, a blast doing lots of cool interviews. I have. Thank you to everybody who's uh, been covering um, Over My Skin from Vogue to Billboard to Paper Magazine to I had the privilege to write for uh, the love letter um, for Billboard Pride and the article on Forbes and Rolling Stone and, and Vice Noisy. Thank you so much. And um, to anybody and everybody who wants to um, kind of know about what, what this new project is. Um, thank you for all the love and support and amazing writing. The, the writing was amazing. Thank you for making the interview so fun. It was so much fun. Um, I hope you guys are enjoying the interviews. I like that everybody is saying, uh, you can almost hear Tiffany talking and laughing and, and and all the all the gestures she would be doing while saying these words. And thank you so much for the positive um, response towards the interview. Uh, the interview process was pretty... Um, I was a little nervous because I was like, am I sharing too much? No, but I'm ready to share this much. So thank you. Thank you so much for, for being so positive and supportive. And just makes me want to create more and share more. So thank you. And it says, somebody said, thank you for the letter. Oops. Oh, no. Thank you for the letter and supporting our community. Thank you. Thank you so much because I should be th saying thank you. <laughs> and it says, so happy to see you um, and being so open to who you are. And I really love reading all of those interviews in English. You can hear your excitement just through, I want to click, but I don't want to like change or cancel the, the live stream. But yes, thank you so much for the amazing, amazing support. And I hope you have fun reading all of these interviews or, or the interviews that I end up doing so, uh, sooner or later. And um, it released, as you all know, it released yesterday 
um, here. So wherever it's releasing now, um, thank you for all the future support that is coming. But there is a lot of iTunes and Apple Music love. It was number one on the US K-pop charts. It's number 25 on the pop charts and it's still climbing up, which is amazing and hard to believe. And um, there's lots of love from Mexico, Taiwan, Thailand, Singapore, and thank you, thank you so much. I'm just excited to to see um, all the all the cool comments and things you guys are writing with your screen caps. Thank you so much. I'm reading the comments. We love you so much. I love you too. <laughs> Aw, thanks for noticing Singapore. We love you. Thank you. <laughs> and also, um, Spotify. Spotify um, is a really cool place. I love to be on. And, you know, I... There's so many cool playlists, and I was asking you guys what your favorite um, Spotify playlists were, and I wanted to share, you know, what I was listening to and who I've been listening to, and my R&B playlists. I mean, love. Everybody knows I love R&B, pop R&B. I, I love all all music, um, but recently I watched the performance of her and Daniel Caesar and was playing that again. I love all their songs on their albums. And I mean, there's so many cool playlists, but some of the artists that I've been streaming, I'm like going down my list, like Pop, Rap Caviar, Pop Rising, New Music Friday, and um, Taebak, like the Korean playlist. Um, some of the artists that I am streaming, obviously Cardi B, um, and I have been listening to um, Love. I'm not sure if you guys know, but if you don't know now, you know. And um, he, I love the whole album. I mean, I loved the feature he did with DJ Snake, but there's a song called um, Paris in the Rain that I really like. If you guys are up for like a really, really cool by the piano pop song. Um, and obviously if I'm going to tell you who I've been streaming on my K-pop playlist, it would have to be Taeyeon and um, Shiny's new album. I mean, love Taeyeon's album. Thank you for um, supporting me too, Taeyeon. And Shiny, I, w I wanted to wish them... Um, a happy 10th anniversary and yeah I mean I, I, I said that to Key yesterday as well so thank you love you miss you guys and I hope you guys enjoyed their album as much as I'm enjoying their albums fun this is this is fun like talking about it while having my music out too hmm. um reading comments reading comments <laughs> um, it says it's not available in certain places it will be I promise you <laughs> it's like slowly opening up in different places um, question how did the other girls react well uh, they love it and um, I woke up and there was all these support posts. So thank you to all my bandmates that are supporting the song and love it and are dancing to it. Um, it's exciting. It's exciting to um, have everybody, especially the people who know you and have been with you and watched you work before, um, kind of see something new without them seeing the process. So surprise! I hope you guys like it. Um, moving on, Twitter. Twitter has been such a fun place for me to learn 
new things and read things and like things and I am pretty new on Twitter but I am getting the hang of it and it's super fun. I have been liking a lot of things and I am about to become ready to start replying. I, you know me, I, I just like to know the things before I, I start to do something so yeah. <laughs> Everybody, everybody ready for me to reply? I'm pretty sure I'm going to reply way too much and everyone's going to be like, stop replying. I'm reading comments. Somebody's birthday, Kizzy's birthday is on the 30th. Happy birthday. Happy birthday to you. Um... Hmm. How am I? I am doing great. It's, it's, um, I can't believe it's out. <laughs> I've been working on this. I've been working on music for a bit. So this is, I'm still just kind of soaking it all in. Um, a couple other, uh, things I wanted to talk to you about were announcements is, I'm, I mean, thank you for following all the posts that I've been doing on all my social accounts. This is, um, I'm getting the hang of it. And I'm like, okay, I'm going to post this on Facebook. I'm going to post this on Twitter and Instagram. And I want this selfie on my Weibo. And I want, you know, it's, it's fun kind of like putting different things on different platforms. And I get to share more. So thank you so much for... Um, enjoying all the things I post for you um, the, like posting things one by one the teasers one by one was super fun um, which I wanted to talk about but got carried away with looking at comments um, yeah the teasers I wanted to share the process of it because I think I've always loved um, sharing that process through bits and pieces. I remember having, you know, a reality show put together or just being able to take on lots of different interviews but to have specific things made for my social media platform was um, really fun and cool. The first day was um, a video of me um, writing and creating as you can see I'm in much I'm in this much more open space during the day outside I think I, I, um, that was um, footage from me at a writing camp and it's you know one of um, the first times I'm, I was just kind of stepping out of not being in a booth and um, sitting outside and collaborating with um, really cool writers that was something I wanted to share the second day um, the second day, I'm like, I'm trying to go through these. The second day, anybody want to tell me what the second day was? I'm like, my brain is going backwards. Second day, oh, it was the, it was the, the one I wrote, woman, 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 woman. Um, yeah, five times on a piece of paper. Um, that was really spontaneous. I. That's my favorite part of the song, and I just kind of wanted to write that out for you in in my in, uh, handwritten out for you, and that smiley face that I always put when I'm like in a good mood. And um, yeah, everybody loves that video, and I'm glad because I love the sounds to it too. Everyone when we were editing editing the videos. People were like, is this fast forward? And I was like, no, that's actually just me writing in normal speed. I just write really fast. I type really fast too. I talk really fast too. But I will try talking slower for you today. <laughs> um, third video was that control board of uh, the teaser of the song of that same part. This woman, 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 woman wants you bad. Um, it was nice because it was one of the first times, be, be, I mean, after the Vogue piece on Giannis Marshall, um, that you guys got to hear the song. Fourth day was, 
um, me getting ready on set. I mean, um, I haven't been on set for a while for a music video, and I, I wanted to share that that process as well. Fifth day is me kind of choosing and mapping things out on set because, um, as you all know, I'm very hands-on with both the music and, and the visual um, aspects of it, and I'm excited to share what the video is going to be like. Um, obviously, my longtime collaborator, um, Sue Styles, has on back on board, um, helping me out with this project, and it's exciting because I have both both um, of my stylists who know me so well as a soloist and as as a as a um, group member that know me from you know the beginning and the most recent project to help collaborate in creating um, my U.S. Um, visuals, and we specifically chose. Um, Korean designers that we've been longtime friends with, and I'm excited to share that with the world as well and support um, the amazing um, designers in Korea as well. Um, as you all know, I'm I I love Seoul Fashion Week. I've I've gone every time I could, and I support and love all the pieces they they um, sent and um, help create this um, create the visual to this song. So thank you. Um, and the last day, the video was me um, in rehearsal. Me in rehearsal. I shouldn't do that to my hair. <laughs> me in rehearsal, dance rehearsal, and with my dream choreographer, Giannis Marshall. Thank you. Um, and we have been re rehearsing, um, you know. For my video and if, when I um, perform, <laughs> for what I perform, and it has been um, an amazing experience. Um, I love his work. I hope you guys go to his work and 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 see all the amazing things he has done. Um, thank you again, Giannis. Um, I can't wait for you guys to see the choreography. Um, and that's my computer, but. Um, moving on. <laughs> Other than the teasers and seeing part of the process, um, I'm super glad that you guys um, have been growing to this like lay like rollout of content. And um, thank you. I hope to create more for you. And next thing I wanted to talk about that I created was my website. Um, www.tiffanyyoung.com I've been working on a website and the web hosting company said the site crashed um, due to the amount of traffic which is an amazing amazing problem so thank you guys for you guys are amazing <laughs> um, I'm working on that it will be up shortly and there's a lot of cool things um, being laid out and created for you on that space as well. So stay tuned. Um, sorry about that crash and everybody's like, why can't I get in? It's because you guys are amazing. So be patient and I will get that up and running for you. Um, and a part of the website that I wanted to share with is that I have been working on it. And um, if you sign up for the newsletter, um, I will keep you updated and hopefully am creating this space for an official fan club and you know that I'm very hands-on and I like to have things prepared before doing this and I have realized there's it's there's a lot of things to um, check before I, I, I do certain things and I want to make it amazing for you guys and I want to hand make all these things, handcraft all these things, whether that's like sending you things or creating cool, amazing, fun products. And um, I want to take my time and build this slowly and have an amazing space for you guys. So thank you for being so supportive and sign up and 
Hopefully there will be good news. <laughs> no, I know there will be good news. Um, speaking of amazing products, I am um, working on a lot of cool merch. Um, I've seen, I mean, I've had the opportunity of making fun stuff um, with the band and I've watched, um, you know, Seon Create for Beaming Effect and, and all my other um, bandmates create cool stuff and I hope I can make fun stuff um, for you guys on on TiffanyYoung.com so stay tuned um more things I wanted to talk about the questions that keep coming up is music video everyone's like when is the music video coming out the music video is coming out in July. Um, uh, it's in the works, and I will let you know when that's coming out. I mean, I said July, so that's not too far away. Um, it's fun. It's colorful. It's very, very mm, summery in a sense, and. I hope that everybody want, just want, feels like dancing along to it. Mm. What else? I also wanted to play music, um, the, the songs that I have been listening to. So why don't I leave this on for you while I'm like reading comments and stuff. Mm. Mm.
Another artist that I love is um, is MNEK and um, his recent single Tom was uh, was one of my favorite songs I've been listening to. It makes me want to dance and I hope you guys like this song too. Tongue by M.N.E.K. You're gonna go, are you, question, are you gonna go back to your red hair one day? My hair is actually a wine red right now. I think it's the lighting. But yeah, for this song, I, I came back to this like wine red auburn color. Could you create a playlist on Spotify? Yes. I will get on that. <laughs> Do you know Gallant? He's a great singer. Yes! Um, Giannis did a, a choreography to one of his songs last week and I had fun watching and learning. How is Prince and Princess? Prince was actually here until yesterday and I think he was getting a little anxious because there's a lot of, um, I have a lot of work and I'm like running in and out and it's he doesn't like being alone, so he's at my aunt's house right now. You love everything I listen to. Thank you. The next song that I wanted to, uh, the next artist I was talking about was Harvey B, but who doesn't love Cardi B. And I, I loved her whole album. Um, Invasion of Privacy album by Cardi B. Super, super inspirational. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoy it too. For those of you that are telling me it's like 4 a.m., I hope, I think this is more suitable. <laughs> oh, no, it's...
The song is called Paris in the Rain by Law for somebody who's asking. And uh, my K pop playlist would probably be Tan Song. I was gonna play Circus, but I played the title track. As I was introducing music, yes, like I said, continue on with my announcements. Announcement. Um, yeah, I wanted to um, let you guys know that um, my fan meetings will be coming soon. Yay! I hope to be wherever um, you are. And wherever I can go, I, I said it in my interview, um, I would love to visit and um, share my new music with you guys. And my fan meeting, uh, my fan meetings are uh, going to be announced soon. So once things are set, um, I hope to see you guys soon and join me and catch up. <laughs> Um, yeah, that's most of what I, I wanted to say. Um, any other questions, thoughts? I'm reading while listening to something new. <laughs> would you consider cutting your hair? Yes, I would, if it fit the song, or the project, or the story, or the character. Mm. Come to Argentina, please. I would love to. Um, you're watching me. Somebody's watching me in the office. I hope, I hope you don't get in trouble. Would you like to come to South America sometimes? Yes, absolutely. I I wish I wish I wish. I remember like I really wanted to go when we were on tour recently. I mean before too, but hopefully I'll be able to visit you. Um, please um, come to the Philippines, Mexico, Peru. Come to Philippines and visit your brother. Yes, and my sister-in-law. <laughs> well, any any other questions? <laughs> It's just so nice to be back and and talk to you and share um, what I've been working on and thank you for your love and support and um, especially all over iTunes and Spotify and Facebook and Twitter and Weibo and Instagram and YouTube and I can't wait for you guys to see the video and um, I'm going to be on Twitter replying, so keep sending me your pictures and screenshots and your hashtags, and um, it's an exciting time. I hope you guys enjoy the new music, and it is almost time for me to go because I'm going to go celebrate, and I'm also going to go watch Drag Race because today is the finale, as, as you can see my outfit. <laughs> I'm going to go celebrate. Um, thank you so much again, and I hope you guys enjoyed the song, and there's going to be more content for you and promo on this, so enjoy, I love you, 
um, good night, good afternoon, good morning, wherever you are in the world. And see you guys soon. Annyeong. Bye.